Guys, we're playing against DK, another pro player. We're gonna be saucing out of good luck. What's up, man? Saucing out of good luck. Going hard in the paint. And that's how you assert dominance. Hey, what's up guys? It's JKK Tag, and today we're coming at you again with another Minor Poison deck. With this Minor Poison deck, you're gonna have three spells. So if you're gonna be playing against three Musketeers or Log Bait, you're gonna have NATO, Log, and Poison, and you're gonna have a phenomenal time against any type of bait deck. Because this deck has the strong defense of Ice Wizard, Cannon Card, and Valkyrie, a lot of beatdown decks will have a lot of trouble breaking through. I highly suggest you guys check this out for 12 win grand challenges and for ladder gameplay, and let me know how it ends up working for you down below in the comment section. Do you play 2v2? I already got the 15 wins, so yeah, I do play 2v2 sometimes. This guy's gonna go for a hog rider. Hopefully that gets in front. I really want that to get pulled by the NATO. I'm gonna try. Here we go. Come on, hog rider. Let's go. Activating King Tower is our specialty. It's a little bit sketchy, but I identified that he did not do the correct placement with Ice Golem, so I realized that I could actually pull it to the King Tower. It's hard to decipher, but the hog rider went in front, so I realized, hey, I have a shot at like actually pulling it to King. So it looks like he's trying to finesse me here with the cycle. I'm going to go for a log, and then I'm going to immediately follow up with a Valkyrie because I know that's going to do a little better, bit better over time. I'm also going to go in for bats because the Ice Golem is going to end up dying to the Valk. Hopefully some of the bats persevere. Only one did. I wish more of them stayed alive. Definitely going to be poison value though. This guy's running 2.6 hogs, so he's going to have a very, very fast cycle. Valk actually gets a hit on the tower. Maybe another? Oh, that would have been clean. So I do have to be wary of his composition because NATO doesn't do so hot on defense when they have an ice comb in front, but the aim is to not allow him to ever really get an ice comb in front. So since he doesn't have skeletons, what does he have for the miner? You have absolutely nothing. You have to cycle back to Skellies or Musketeer, and then Musky gets poisoned, but skeletons are not in your cycle. So that's why I went in for a miner, and I realized, hey, I can take advantage of his card cycle here. So I'm going to go for another Valk, and it looks like he might go in. I don't know. So he is. And I'm going in for Tornado. I'm also going to go for Bats. I really want that Hog Rider to die. The Hog's going to get maybe one hit. No, zero hits. Shut down. Absolutely annihilated. I love when they go in for Musketeers there. Because that's free poison value. That is like a 4 for 4 trade that I'm completely fine with. I honestly don't know how I feel about poison. Like Fireball doesn't end up killing Musketeers or Electro Wizards. I think poison might be a little bit overpowered. I don't know if it needs a nerf or not. But I feel like it shouldn't end up killing that, you know? It's just my personal thoughts, even though I play Minor Poison in almost all decks that have Poison, but I, I was just thinking that the other day. I'm going to end up going in for another Miner here, and we're going to see if we can end up getting another Poison on the tower whenever he drops a Muskie. It's going to be awesome for us. The Muskie's going to go walk up into the Poison, so that's why I dropped it a little bit ahead. I can log this whenever he drops something else. This is actually like not the easiest matchup for me, as I said before, because you know you could have a very like good card cycle, and well, fast card cycle, and just out-cycle us, right? He's not going to hit the Ice Wizard, so the Ice Wizard should deny all hits. Oh man, did I misplace that? No, we're fine. Okay, I'm going to go Cannon Card again, and if he goes in for Hog, I can just go for Valk and not really care, because there's no way that that Hog ends up getting like 2,000 damage on a Valkyrie. Like, if you Fireball it, it's still like not going to end up killing. Cannon Card's going to proceed to the opposite side, and we do end up casually defending the Virginity. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. This is a hard-fought battle. Obviously, that NATO at the start was prime, and it allowed us to pull away with the victory. Just gave us a, such a huge advantage. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. All right, so I'm going to go Bats in the back. I'm going to go for Ice Wizard in the back as well. I want to see what this man wants to do. Unreal with the funky spelling. What's up with that, bro? Okay. So he's going to have Electro with his Royal Ghost. Probably going to end up having some type of pack of control deck. I'm going to end up going for Cannon Card to obliterate the Royal Ghost. And then also, okay, never mind. That's really bad by him. I can't believe he dropped that right into us. And he goes in for a Sap as well. That's really good. So, I'm actually just going to nato this backwards to make sure he doesn't get any hits. Can't nato that to King. I'm going to go Valk right in front, hopefully. Again, I'm going to go in for Bats because he ended up dropping Zap, right? If I remember correctly, he doesn't have anything for the Bats. That Cannon Card gets on top of the tower. Ah, oh, barely doesn't, but it's still going to be protected. Yeah, so he has to drop an Electro right in front because he didn't have Zap. He only had Electro in Cycle. As a result, the Miner gets so many damage on the tower, so... Miner gets an unreal amount of damage on the tower, boys. Let's go. I'm going to go Cannon Card because I really want to save the Ice Wizard for defense against the Giant. So Cannon Card's going to give us a little bit more utility on offense. Maybe he drops a Giant. No, he's going to drop his own Cannon Card. So funny thing here is, okay, what I was going to say is funny thing that usually happens is if they do that, their Cannon Card ends up like not proceeding to my side of the map. 
So that's really, really good for me. End up going in for an Ice Wizard and Tornado. Positive Elixir trades for days. We also did a negative trade on defense against that Cannon Cart, but I got a lot of chip damage, so I'm okay with that. Unfortunately, that Cannon Cart is going to obliterate our Ice Wizard. Still waiting, still vibing. Really didn't want to go right into him. I'm going to go Cannon Cart yet again on defense. Wow, he's going to give me poison value again, guys. This guy's absurd. He's a madman. What are you doing? You mad sir. I can just go in for a log here, and then you don't have any counter push potential. Your supporting units are never going to cross the river. I can just go for another Ice Wizard. I can go in for a Miner because I'm that confident that I'll be able to defend this push. So he's going to have Lumberjack. Very well played. He knew that I wasn't going to drop it right into a Cannon Cart. I guess I should have been like less predictable. I guess I could have dropped it further back. Or right into the Cannon Cart. Just for some like guaranteed damage because no one predicts that, right? Whenever they drop units in the back and you're running this like defensive deck, you can just poison Log and make sure, hey, I'm netting a negative trade, but every single time on defense, I just don't think that you're ever going to be able to break through an Ice Wizard NATO. So I'm completely content losing these trades, you know? When he crosses the river, then I go for Valkyrie because I want the Valkyrie to get right on top of the Electro. And I know that I can go in for a Miner. can end up poisoning depending on what he drops. I'm just going to wait. So he's going to drop another. Wow, he's predicted it every single time. So he still hasn't touched our tower though. So there's that. And I end up going for Ice Wizard just to make sure that he never touches our tower. And then he goes in for another Cannon Cart. I'm going to end up going for a Log. So he did touch our tower with spell damage, but do you really count that as touching our tower? I don't know, guys. You guys can be the judge on that one. I'm not going to go for an aggressive miner. I'm just going to relax because I know that I'm down a little bit of elixir. So he was up two there. Judging by the time that he drops the rogue ghost. I'm going to go in for a cannon cart. I'm going to go in for an ice wizard. And then I'm going to nato. If he fireballs, he's not able to hit the cannon cart plus uh, the ice wizard. So I'm okay with this if he ends up just hitting the Valkyrie. It doesn't really matter to me. Cannon cart on defense is OP. Inside corner, he's not going to predict that one. He's going to go drop a lumberjack though because the uh, electro wizard is going to reset, right? Cannon cart should end up killing. The Lumberjack, so I'm not really scared about that at all. I will, however, have to go drop a Valkyrie on defense to make sure that we kill Electro. And make sure we mitigate damage here. So all I gotta do is go in for Poison, and we do collect the W. So I'm gonna end up going in for the Miner in the spot that doesn't really matter. I'm going for the Poison on the King Tower to assert dominance, and I'm gonna go Nato everything backwards. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. This is the ultimate defense deck. There is no way any beatdown deck is ever breaking through on us. All right, we're going to be saucing out of good luck here, and I'm going to be dropping my Valkyrie as my starting play. This guy's going to give me the double thumbs up. We're going to give the princess double thumbs up, and uh, it's not thumbs up anymore when you drop the Royal Hogs, brother. We're going to activate King Tower at least. That should end up finishing off the Royal Hogs. Still got a ton of damage on us. I'm going to go for a Miner so we can get some extra chip. Oh, he's got that matchup, guys. He's got the Zappy's Mega Knight variation that I was talking about earlier. Miner's getting a ton of damage, though, so I'm okay with this, at least for the time being. Okay, what is this? Why do you have skeletons? It's a little bit more different than I thought. Okay. Ice Wizard Bats. Keeping the Ice Wizard alive is paramount. Oh, no, no, no. This is bad. He Royal Hogs me and I get screwed. Actually, no, we're not screwed. Scratch that, boys. We NATO plus Valkyrie. That's the wave. That is literally the wave. <laughs> That was so sketchy, having to do that. Okay, another play that we're going to be doing. Using Meyer to pull an Inferno Dragon. Next level meta tactics. You guys ready? Whew, it had to happen. It had to happen. There was no other play. If you look at my hand, what was I going to do? Okay. Next tactic. What do we want to do? Just log this? Recycling? I think that's probably the wave. Keeping my Ice Wizard because I still don't know what the heck this guy has. I want to have Ice Wizard coupled with the Valkyrie when he goes in for Royal Hogs again. Is he going to split him? Okay. Let's try it. I don't think this works, guys. No, it doesn't. I, I guess it kind of does. A little bit. Not really. It's better than not doing anything. You go for a Miner here. Definitely poison that. I need more chip damage. Such a sketchy matchup, boys. I can't go any offensive because he has Inferno. Okay, so he's going to split push again. You go for bats here. Fortunately, that's on the tower that I don't really care too much about. 
I can't mine her because it goes right into an Inferno Dragon. I'm not about that life, guys. As much as I want to say I'm about it, I'm really not. I need to, like, Nato earlier, I think, maybe. That Inferno Dragon gets on my tower. I'm so screwed. My bat's here. I'm going to go for Miner. Bats are thriving still. Oh, bats on the top of the tower? Definite poison value. I'm about it. Bats, please. Not on top of the Valkyrie. On top of the tower, man. I need it. Okay. Come on, Ice Wizard. Notice where I placed Ice Wizard. If I didn't have King Tower activated already, you can't, like, fireball it because of King Tower activation. I'm going for a poison. Might not be the best play, but I'm going to get extra chip from it, so that's about it. He doesn't have log, so I'm okay with this, I think. Those bats are prime, man. Those bats are prime. Still have the uh, Ice Wizard alive, too. Gotta keep the Valkyrie. Definitely gotta keep the Valkyrie sauce. I'm gonna poison if he drops something else. She is going to. Nice. I'm gonna eat that. It doesn't matter. I don't think it does, at least. So I'm gonna end up going in. I need, I need, I need the NATO. NATO is good. These fireballs. Nice play. Cannon cart's still alive. I'm gonna have to go in for minor bats here, I think. I can poison all this. If the bats get on top of the tower, oh, that one berry. More berries on top of the tower. Give me damage or give me death, but please don't give me death. I just want to win. I feel like I deserve this matchup after how well I played against you. This hard counter, bro. Give it to me. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go bats here, right? All right, I just need to go in. I need one minor hit. That's all I need, guys. I just need one minor hit. And then I poison log. We got it. We actually defeated the hard counter. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. I can't believe I won that. Yikes. Royal Hogs. I right, would go bats in the back, just splitting them. And I'm going to go in for a minor. Whatever side he doesn't respond. So he obviously does have NATO, so I don't want to give him easy NATO activation. So I'm going to go minor in the safe spot. He's going to have Mega Minions, so he's going to have a control based deck with Ice Wizard. So he's either going to have Graveyard? Probably Graveyard since he has Mega Minion. Could be Expo, but it's probably going to be Graveyard. Cannon Cart Graveyard, that's what it is. I'm going to go Cannon Cart right in front. It's not really going to matter too much. It's going to log. Why are you doing that? It's like, <laughs> if you log, if you drop something, it just doesn't matter. Cannon Cart's trade even. And I'm going to go for a Valk in the back. Okay. So we know he has NATO and Cycle. I really don't want to go for a minor in like a non-safe spot. You know, I can't poison either because any graveyard's me, right? So we're in a precarious position. I might just want to go for a minor plus log on top of the Ice Wizard, as weird as that sounds. So I'm going to have to kill the Ice Wizard if I want to have any counter push potential. Oh, well played. Okay, I see you, sir. That was really well played on his end. You go Ice Wizard, I'm going to go for Valkyr. I want to have counter push potential. I don't want to go drop my cannon cart and then have it die on my side of the map. I'm going to go now because I'm up Elixir. He doesn't have cannon cart in cycle, so maybe we get that on top of his. Come on, get on top of the tower. You know you want it. I'm going to go for an aggressive miner, keeping our Ice Wizard alive for more chip damage. Also, he still has to respond to the bats, right? Ice Wizard's getting some nice chip, guys. Let's go. As weird as that sounds, it actually racks up. It's really like doesn't seem like a lot of damage, but look at it just rack up. That was solid 600 damage. I like it. And obviously it has graveyard, but going into a game right now with graveyard and you're down a lot of elixir, down a lot of tower damage, this is prime for us. Yep. Super obvious. So what else does he have here? I have to go cannon card on defense. I didn't want to, but here's the play. He doesn't have an answer to the miner though, so I'm okay with this. I should go for bats around. Just to mitigate damage, mitigate chip. It's a battle of attrition, miner versus graveyard, because we both have great answers to our opponents. Go for Valk. 
can card as well. Falk should soak up a lot. Go Miner. He just doesn't have an answer. He just like Ice Golem, right? Yeah, he thought that I was going to go inside. He expected me to be a little bit less greedy, but I'm a really greedy sir. You should know this. Super greedy. So he's trying to like catch me with my pants down when I don't have a lot of elixir, but I had enough. It's not happening, man. You're not swerving me like that. Obviously, the cannon cart is like the main threat here. Ice Wizard I really don't care about, so the Ice Wizard gets on top of me. I don't care at all. Slowly and gradually. Oh, wow. He's playing this super well. He's like, there's no way he goes three times in a row in the safe spot. He thought, he thought I wasn't extremely greedy. He knew that I wasn't that greedy. <laughs> I'm going to go for bats because he doesn't have enough elixir for a poison, so if he wants to go for a graveyard, it's not that bad. Not too shabby for us. Also, he wasn't able to hit all the bats. Inside minor placement for the dub. Oh, that's clean. That's a lot of damage. I just need like a couple hits here and there, and I'm just going to like log cycle him, honestly. I want to win the battle at the river so then he's not able to break through. Ooh, he might have enough for graveyard, or he might have enough for... Uh, Poison he does, well played. But the Valk comes through, because... Oh, never mind, alright. Alright, you feisty, sir. I just need, like, one hit, and then I just vibe away. One more? Yeah, that's GG. As soon as it's 300, then you just go for Poison Log. Does exactly 300, and then you win the game. Log does 84, Poison does 216, that's all she wrote. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. Gotta play safe until you secure the dub. 8-0, that's clean. Yeah, man, hopefully we can get 12. Really want to get a 12 now. <sighs> Donkey Kong, okay. Guys, we're playing against DK, another pro player. We're going to be saucing out of good luck. What's up, man? Funky Clan, just I. <laughs> All right, we're going to go for an Ice Wizard. He's probably going to run Royal Hogs. No, he's going to have Hunters. He's probably going to have Hunter Royal Hogs. Okay. Yikes, man. So notice this placement of the Miner. We're not dropping right on top of the Hunter because then the Hunter just gets so much damage on us. We want to make sure that the Hunter is doing its range damage, which is pretty flaccid compared to its actual up close and personal damage of the shotgun. So he's going to go Royal Hogs. It's evident. Yikes. So I'm going to have to go in for Ice Wizard. I think we're going to be fine here. He's not going to get too much. So he's going to have three Muskies with this, maybe. I'm going to go for a Miner to have counter push potential because we have a lot of units on the map. He go for a lock, and then he goes for Hunter right on top of the Miner. Miner gets another hit. It's going to be three hits, right? Yeah, that's good. Cannon card here. But then I won't have enough Elixir for the Valk. Hmm, I'm thinking. I'm going to have to wait and see what he wants to do. I will Cannon card if he doesn't do anything. All right, we're going to Cannon card here. And then I'm going to go Valk on top of the Royal Hogs. I think that's the wave, boys. Otherwise, if he splits them, then I'm going to end up like going for Bats and then NATOing two to the King. So... Do I need to log this? I don't think I do now. I will have to. I'm going to wait the last possible second and do it. If we can hit an Ice Spirit, that'd be prime. Doesn't end up hitting it. Go Valk in the back. See what he does here. Hunter, okay. Okay, I see you. I see you, DK. He's a really good player, by the way. This is uh, the professional Donkey Kong. This isn't any scrub. So we have to try hard here. Okay, so that's really good for us. That's not going to get a single hit. And he's going to have Royal Hogs, so I'm going to be scared. I'm going to be a little sketched out right now. He's got guards as well. This guy's so good with 3M. Oh, he had the collector. Yo, DK, you swerving me, man. Okay. He, he didn't show it until now, and then I'm like caught with a really bad card cycle. Wow, DK, you're a savage, bro. Can't believe you would do such a thing to, you, to me. I thought we were chilling. I thought we were friends after King's Cup. And then you do this. Poison. It's dead. I'm going to save my Valk. Alright. We need to do this. We need to like pull some shenanigans here. He's going to go guards and he logged them. Oh no. Okay. I thought he was going to go guards there. That's okay. 3M, where are they at? He's not doing it. Oh my gosh, he's playing so well. See, this is why he's one of the best three Musketeer players in the game. He just doesn't make misplays. This is super bad for us. Enough to poison that. 
And Valk's out of cycle. I think I lose now. I think he might have just outplayed me. I think he might have swerved me. That one collector might have just swerved me, boys. Yeah, he's just playing so well. He's playing out of his mind. He's insane. So I'm going to have to like... Uh, do I need to bats it? I do need to bats it. I'm going to go poison so then I don't have to deal with the guards. Yeah, he's just like out cycling me. He's swerving me completely. And they're doing that to one side maybe. Maybe that will help. I'm not sure. I'm not missing Nato, so I'm playing solid mechanically, but his decision making has been really, really good this time. I gotta hand it to him. When he's at, like, when someone outplays me, they deserve the credit. Go Bandit or uh, Pats, and I think I'm probably gonna have to Nato, or maybe just go in for Can Cart. Okay, I don't have Elixir to do anything else. I have to go in for like Ice Wizard here, and Valk. Such a hard game here, guys. Not allowed to make misplays. Come on, Cannon Cart. You know you want to get damage for me, man. All right, I have to go cycle Log because if I cycle anything else, then he just goes in for Collector and I get wrecked, right? So I can't go for Miners. His Ice Gold is in the back, so I want to go for Bats push here. Come on, Cannon Cart. Yikes. Ice Wizard OP. This might be a draw, guys. This might have just been too good of a game. Oh, no, no, no. Crap. Eh, it wasn't too bad, actually. Maybe it was. The Poison, Log, Ice Wizard. Shut it down. We're definitely going to draw out of this, I feel. There's no way. Oh, man. He played this super well. I wasn't able to punish him. Got to give him credit, guys. Go for another Cannon Cart. I'm going to go Tornado. You have to be fast with that, man. You can't mess around. If you mess around, you uh, just take the fattest out of your lives. Poison here. Can cart. Still has to respond to you, right? Go oh, Ice Wizard. I just don't even want to drop Log. I want to make sure that I can serve it so then Royal Hogs don't get through. This is going to be GG. This is like a uh, definite well played on his end. Maybe. You know what? Guys. Can we be stupid here? Are we allowed to be stupid? We're going to try it. There's no way he wins. Maybe we can get that cannon card through. That's no, not happening. GG, well played. Wait, the cannon card comes through. Oh man, that cannon card was locked on. I don't know. That was close. GG, Donkey Kong. GG, well played, man. That was such a close game. He's so good. Why is he so good? All right, we got a game against Ricky JR. We're gonna be saucing out. Good luck. We go bats in the back here. This is just the cycle. Saucing out. Good luck as well. Oof, Golem. All right, anyone that does that, they lose respect for me. As a player, you can't go Golem in the back and get away with it in most situations. Against Miter Control, you can, but against most decks, you can't. Like, you just lose against people that bridge spam you off his lane, and then they have Inferno Dragon for the Golem, so... I don't know if he's that great, but he uh, he's definitely getting away with uh, getting away with it here. Maybe he stream snipe me? I'm not sure. You don't make that if you're a good player. No one does that if you're good. No, go Valkyrie on top of the Cannon Cart. Can't let that cross the river. Cross the river, we lose the game, so... He makes sure that... Don't allow it. Nato, so then the golem doesn't get death damage on us. That would just be way too much. I'm not comfortable with it. Also, won't, don't want the golemites to disrupt our cannon cart. I'm gonna go minor here. See what he wants to do to the cannon cart. He's gonna log it, okay. Yikes, man. Wait till the last possible second, sauce so out a log. I have time, so I can wait. Alright. What does he want to do here? So he's gonna have like. Dark Goblin with this, and NATO. It's crazy. It's really, really weird to see someone going for a Golem. Like, this is late in the GC and he does that. Okay, here we go. Do you have anything for this? Single Elixir. I don't think you do. Okay, you can NATO. I can go for a Miner. I think I can NATO that to King. I'm not sure. That Miner was an overcommitment by me, by, by the way, guys. I think I have to wait. I think I have to wait for the cannon cart. I have to kill the cannon cart. And then I think I can nail out the king. I'm not sure though. You guys told me I can nail out golem the king. Yeah, I can. I didn't have elixir here. If I had enough for bats, yeah, we were. Oh, oh, maybe. 
Maybe, guys. I'm telling you, there might be a chance. And then the Inferno Dragon wrecks me. Nah, we don't have a chance. That was so close. That was so close to being sexy. Actually, still have the tower. Hmm. I need more damage. Can that die? Yo, can the uh, cannon card die? The cannon card dies, maybe. Oh my god, we are still alive? What? What? You cannot be serious. We're still alive. This is insane. I can't believe it. We might be vibing, boys. Yeah, I think we I think we drew or uh, end up winning this. This is insane. He's going to have to cycle another log. If he gets back to log, then obviously he wins. But I don't know if he does. Does he? It's coming down to the wire. No, he doesn't. GG, well played. And peace out, Girl Scout. Completely finessed him. Let's go, guys. Let's get hype in the chat. Can't believe we won that. Holy crap.